This is the book I decided to write for the 60th anniversary of Israel's independence. It's my 80th book. While I like to feel that all my books are different, this one is different in a very particular way. It contains not only story and photographs and is in full colour, but it has some 50 facsimile documents in little pockets. You can pull out of its pocket, for example, the facsimile letter from the Emir Faisal, the leader of the Arab revolt, in which he writes in his own handwriting, we Arabs, especially the educated among us, look with the deepest sympathy on the Zionist movement. We will do our best to work, give the Jews a most hearty welcome home. And then here I have a letter, which you also pull out of its pouch, the facsimile letter from a Jewish girl from Britain who fought in the Israeli War of Independence, was mortally wounded, and gave a Jordanian soldier this letter to send to her parents as she lay dying in a Jordanian field hospital. It's still stained with her blood. And she writes to her parents of how, although she will never see a free Jewish state, she has lived to see it coming into being. Then I have here, on laundry slips of laundry lists, the diary of someone who was caught under Syrian shell fire in the 1973 war. He writes of how a Syrian shell explodes 500 yards to my left. A lot of shrapnel falls in the field. One piece of shrapnel comes a mere five yards from me. I am very frightened. I have sand, sand in my mouth. This is my actual diary of my experiences under shell fire. And then one of the last letters in a pouch, a letter sent by a schoolgirl to Leah Rabin after her husband Yitzhak Rabin was assassinated, reproduced together with the, the postage stamp and her charming message. So this book is not only a history book, but a visual walk through history in which you can take out the letters, documents, diaries, photographs, and, fo and paintings of the people who built Israel and made Israel's story.